A lot of you. Well just one, but that's not the point. The thing is, someone did ask me for a tutorial on first person movement. So, here you go. You'll need three things for a first person movement. A player. And on the player a character controller. And then finally a script. Open up the script. First, let's just declare our character controller privately, and access it in the start function. Now let's create a function for movement of the player, and we'll call this function in the update function. You can write all the code in the update function directly, but this way the code looks clean. So in the movement function, let's start by getting input from the player. Then we'll create a vector 3, which is going to be our move vector. Here, transform.right is a vector that goes from wherever the player is facing to the right, and transform.forward goes from wherever the player is facing, then to the forward direction. And as you know, horizontal axis stands for the right and left input, and the vertical stands for forward and backward, so we'll multiply the vectors with respective inputs. Now we'll access our controller, and move it using our move vector. But we can't control the speed of our player yet, to do that, we'll multiply the movement with a speed variable. And let's also declare the speed variable here. Finally, we'll multiply the movement with time.delta time, to make it frame rate independent. Save it, and in Unity, drag and drop the script on the player. And let's say the speed of our player should be 15. As you can see, the movement is working perfectly fine, but we can't jump yet, and also there's no gravity. So let's a jump and gravity function in our script. This function too will be called in the update function. In our new function, we'll use a bool. So let's declare a bool. I'll name it on ground. Now, we'll create an invisible sphere at the bottom of our player using the check sphere method, which takes three parameters, the position of the sphere, the radius, and the layer mask from which it should detect collision. So let's declare the required objects. This line now means, that whenever our invisible sphere collides with any object with the layer mask that we assign, then, it'll set the bull on ground, as true. And if the bull is true. Forgot to mention, we'll also need another vector 3, which is going to be our gravity vector. Now if the bull is true, we'll set the Y component of the gravity to 0. But this will mean that the player has no downforce towards the ground, and that's not what happens in real life. So we'll give it any small negative number. And while the player is on ground, and gets an input from the space button, you can use any button you want instead of space. Then we'll set the gravity to a new value, jump. So let's declare the jump float too, which is basically going to be our jump height. And if the player is not on the ground, then we'll set the gravity to 20. But again, this is not realistic, as when an object falls down in real world, its acceleration keeps increasing when falling. So instead of giving it a fixed value, we'll add a gravity of, let's say 15, each frame, when the player is in the air. And for the last line of the code, we'll simply move our controller, using the gravity vector. As usual we'll multiply the movement with time.delta time 2. Save the script, and in Unity, first let's create an empty game object in our player, which is going to be the center of our sphere, and then we'll move it to the bottom of the player. Now drag and drop this game object, in the script, and let's say, its radius should be 0.1, it may vary in your case, and for the layer mask, let's create a new layer mask,
and I'll name it ground. Now select the ground in your game, and change its layer mask to ground. Now in the script, set the layer mask to ground. And let's say the jump height should be 12. Now if I hit play, There's a problem, we actually gave our player a positive gravity instead of negative here, so let's add a minus sign, and also multiply it by time dot delta time. Now again, if I hit play, we can move around and jump easily, and also, and also, the gravity is working fine. I'll see you in the next video, where we'll cover the camera, and the mouse look for our player. Till then, you can spam the red button.